Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, thanks for tuning into this video. I wanted to explain what I've been up to this week. I I kind of set myself little challenges and one of the challenges that I wanted to do was to build a Hackintosh as cheaply as possible. Now I've seen some videos uh, that they bought a machine for £17 um, and that was like ridiculously cheap. So I, I couldn't quite get it down to that low but £50 with posters and packaging and that was for an 8 gig HP ProDesk 400 with an i5 7th gen um, and 8 gigs of RAM. I increased it to 12. Uh, it did have a 256 gigabyte uh, SSD. I put a terabyte of NVMe storage in um, and this thing is very capable. It handles its graphics acceleration fine. I've managed to do that. Um, the only problem is, like I said, the problem with the RTC uh, patch, which is what Mac OS is doing is writing to bits of memory that aren't there and it causes this issue on HP machines. It's quite well known. Uh, so it's finding that bit of memory and then just including it in, in your uh, boot arguments. So I'm working on that this week. Um, with that said, I can switch over to my phone and we'll kind of take the rest from there. So as I mentioned uh, before, this I've managed to beat myself and this is my uh, new Hackintosh. I'm going to restart it because I pulled the uh, power out at the HDMI lead out to uh, work on this little server down here, but I'll explain that later. It's a different video. Um, so this has a Core i5 7th gen 7500 um, with 16 gigs of RAM a terabyte NVMe and that NVMe is in a little slot I'll just move this I've been working on some other stuff this was originally uh, the card that I was planning to use with this this is an RX 550 uh, as it says down here RX 550 4 gig this thing gets very hot like almost cook an egg hot um, I've changed the paste, it's not that, it's the design of the actual uh, card. This, I got a really good price, I think it was about 30 quid. <laughs> but I know why, because it w runs red hot. It, it seems fine, like it's stable, it just runs really hot. Um, but I was having a few problems getting the SM BIOS and Kex to work with it, so I spent the kind of all day yesterday um, working on on something else so can I undo the screw with one hand let me see yeah let's give you a look inside on how I've got it set up uh, and I'll also take a picture I'll put this down Oof, there we are back so yeah this is the NVMe that I've got uh, as my boot drive um, this has only got one this only has one uh, slot for another SSD. Technically, you could run a slightly bigger drive in it, but um, it, it's not a great idea. It doesn't fit very well. So this is normally just where you would put your SSD. You could take the DVD drive out and have that as another space. That would give you uh, three slots for uh, storage, so it's still more expandable. Um, but yeah, let me boot this up and I'll show you what's working. Pretty much everything works. There's only one thing that I'm currently working on at the minute. Let me turn this light out. Ooh, HP. Da -da -da -da. So this is the only error and it's fine, I can reboot it. And this is to do with the memory. Um, the OS is technically right into bits of memory that don't exist and it causes this issue. I've, I've done a little bit of digging into it and it, it, it you can solve it with something like an RTC patch and I'll, I'll show you that in a second. But just click enter and then you can reboot. Um, but that's the only bug that I'm working on. The rest hard, hardware, um, acceleration works. 
uh, sound works, the front, the, even the speakers of the actual device work. So, um, yeah, everything works apart from that. That's the only bug. So, Mac OS. So yeah, this is a £45 machine, or technically 50 with postage and packaging, um, and it, it runs Sonoma really well. Uh, I'm actually using something called Better Display as well. Um, better Display, it gives you these nice, rich, deep colours. Um, I'll show you the actual application and you can do some quite interesting stuff with it so yeah so this is on the trial version so it could maybe run out after the trial like the color rich things and this monitor will go all the way up to 120 Hertz so it makes it nice and crisp um, which is probably why it's not flickering in the actual video let me do about this Mac. So for this SM BIOS I had to use the iMac BIOS. I did try and use um, the Mac Mini BIOS but it it just wasn't having it. It really didn't like the uh, the Mac Mini BIOS. So this is using the um, iMac 19,1 uh, and it has the Intel HD 630 graphics which are well known for issues in the kind of Hackintosh community um, and it has 12 gigs not 16 sorry 12 gigs so if I do system report and then do graphics so yeah it says metal supported and uh, metal 3 all 1080p at the minute, so this is a this is a good little a little hack and tosh. Like I said, I am working on the um, the RTC error, and if I do open core configure it first, and then do tools mount EFI and do mount. Too many. And then do OCAT. It's just so I can explain it because there might be someone in the audience that has already come across this error. Um, and if you have, then any feedback would be appreciated. You know, this build will be up on GitHub uh, after this video launches. So you feel free if you have this machine already, well then you've got Hackintosh um, with hardware acceleration. If if you want me to carry on working on the RX550, then I can also uh, try that. That's been a bit longer of a process. Um, so the RTC was NVRAM. Yeah, here it is. So, from the open core guide, it says this is basically the the line that you need to exclude bits of memory that it's writing to, and then you'll change this uh, to hex value. So you'll change it and then half it and then half it and half it until you find the bit of memory that is um, that it's writing to. So that's what I've currently been been working on. Um, I noticed as well that I don't have CD CDF on. Hmm. I might put that in. So yeah, this is a good little good little build, um, and I'm quite happy with it. This took about two days of configuration and testing and configuring, and I was literally about to give up. Um, then I merged one of my old builds in with this one then rewrote the parts that I need to and that is what made it work so the, I had a 
another video from another HP machine, which is the uh, HP Elite Desk. If I go on to, so yeah, this is the explaining about the RTC issue. So if I do a uh, HP Broad Desk. And then Hackintosh. I think my video is like Hackintosh. No internet, of course, I've not. Because I need to not plugged it in. So, yeah, one of the next things that I need to get working on it does have the drivers for the uh, Intel Wi Fi card. So, if you do have an a Intel Wi Fi card that works with um, Mac OS, then it does have the drivers already in for it. Uh, it's just I've not put the Intel card in yet and it would be nice to fill this build out with um, with Bluetooth as well to kind of just make it yeah so here it is um, HP G4 84, 84 power Mac Sonoma um, so I merged this build in with this. Now the, the the machines are similar, they're not quite the same, but they're similar, and it was enough to to get the hardware acceleration uh, working. Um, and everything works on this one. On this build here, it sleep works, um, power, everything. It all works. This is a full working machine. Um, but I wanted something, originally I wanted something with a bit more power, like an RX 550. Uh, but again, this card, although it's supported, this, for some reason I can't get it to work. There's there's lots of different reasons why, and I've tried different patches and different this and different this. And it is sometimes, you know, it can be, the, the SM BIOS, technically I would have used a, a Mac Pro 7,1 but uh, SM BIOS because that tends to work better for uh, PCs with lots of PCIe lanes and things like that. But it didn't really like that, um, so I'm only left with a couple of iMacs that I can use, and that's about it. There's there's not much. You can only really use that uh, BIOS, the SM BIOS uh, 7,1, or a couple of iMacs. Otherwise, you know, you're not going to use the Mac Mini SM BIOS or something like that. I mean, you could, but it would just be, it would just take far too long. As far as installing the image, uh, one way that I prefer is actually use, uh, using the Orilla image. Uh, when I've tried this, at like a vanilla install, so you make a bootable Mac OS USB, uh, as it says on the website, I've, I've encountered errors before. But what I found is when you use the Orilla raw image, just flash it with a uh, Belane etcher like you would a Raspberry Pi or something like that, and then switch the EFI, uh, it seemed to work really well on most systems that I that I try. Um, you can download it on Google if you type in Orilla raw Sonoma image and it comes up, uh, but I will include a link for it down below as well. Uh, it just just goes smoother i'm not too sure why it just does um thank you for watching this video uh, if you like this type of content and want to see it more regularly please hit the subscribe button it helps the channel loads i need to get to a thousand subscribers to uh, unlock some more advanced features within youtube so i'm at 450 please help me get to a thousand subscribers um i've seen that the Hackintosh videos do really well on the channel so i will do um, many more Hackintoshes. I've still got my rack, my rack server Hackintosh that is sat up there and it works. And I really want to, this is a great laugh. And it even comes up as Xserve. This is so funny. So I'm making a video on that as well. Um, and I'll see you all very soon. From soldering circuits to coding rhymes. We're the geeks, the ones with the minds. Building connections, 